Hello everyone, Shrag Shah, happy Thursday. The message of the day is, don't work with thieves. Excessive inventory, overpricing, how does that affect you? That's the question I'm asking you, how does it affect you? Now nobody likes a thief, so how come so many people let them in their homes and actually let them take money out of their pocket without knowing it? So let me explain. If I come to your house as a real estate agent and I completely lie and misguide you on the price because in reality you're bringing me into your home for professional opinion and I overprice the home, I'm stealing money from you because the house is going to sit on the market and like some of our other videos we shared what happens to an overpriced home. I want to come in there and I want to give you an honest opinion based upon fact about what's going on in the market, what's for sale that's comparable to yours in the market, the foreclosure situation, the short sale situation, how long an average house is taking to sell in your neighborhood. I hope your real estate agent's going over that with you. And not to say that all realtors do this. In like any profession, doctors, lawyers, dentists, every professional is different. Just because a certain company is one individual this way doesn't mean the entire company is worth that way. So now what I want to ask you is, don't work with thieves. A little drastic message, but the reality is there. It hits home. Because you know what, when you overprice the home and that money is taken away with you because the house just sits there in the market and you carry those holding costs, that's money being taken away from you and your family that you worked hard to get and should be kept right here. So when you sit down with your realtor and they price the home, please, please sit down with them and actually go through the facts and make a decision based on fact. I say this over and over again. For some people, it's okay not to sell their house now because their expectations are are not what the market can bear. So in that situation, you might have to hold off a few years, but really sit down and know your motivations and know your goals prior to making a decision. Don't just put the house on the market because someone says, oh, okay, I could get you this price because they really want a listing. Ask the guy, what makes you think you can get this price and what sales data supports this number? Those are the money-making questions which will be the leading indicator moving forward if you've chosen the right realtor. This is Shrag Shah. I hope you guys all act on this message and you get to keep all your equity, you get to where you're going, and you have a smile on your face and you enjoy the fruits of your labor. You guys can always email me questions at info at gatewayrealtyteam.com. Thank you.